Hello then folks, welcome out to Glory Hunter. Finally, the Europa League has been given to us as a choice, but now we've got the toughest test possible. Chelsea coming up. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to Glory Hunter. As I said, it's me, not Spencer. Jeff. Good to see you. I hope I find you very, very well. Imagine if I didn't want you to be well. That'd be dreadful, wouldn't it? I hope I find you tepid. Tepid, viewers. Now, you can see there are some big games in the uh, the Europa League still to be played. I say Leipzig and Liverpool are two of the best teams. But Chelsea, currently fifth in the Premier League. You can see there, Liverpool slightly above them. But Chelsea, one of the, the tougher games we could play purely based on how good this team is. And it is, to say, very, very good. Esposito, a bit of a wonder kid of this year. Zagrino, a player that we've come across before as well. And the, and the big man up top, uh, Lubanovic Obrenovic. Yes, he is the star in that show. And, of course, Donnarumma in goal. Lots of faces that I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, Bogdan Popper plays for them. I don't know how I feel about that. About that. We had him at Arsenal, I remember. He's gone to Chelsea more recently after being at Zebra and I had loan spells everywhere while I was at Arsenal. And uh, it's doing all right for them. And our team today is without Diallo. Um, of course, there's been no game since we played Madrid, so we can go straight into this. And I'm taking a risk. Emdal is going to start for me. He's recovering from a twisted knee. But with Diallo out... I need this man in because otherwise we are in all sorts of bother. It could be over after Taiwan. And of course, if we can get past Chelsea, we have a real shot at this, I feel like. So big teams are going to be dropping out in this particular round. And that is where maybe we can uh, we can make a run for this. Uh, so Rios will be in goal. Polinio at right back. Velez and Shouting. I'm still not over it after yesterday, viewers. And lots of you seem to enjoy it. Uh, Sanchez at left back, of course. Gutierrez and Aquino. Zeno one side. Omar behind Brian and Emdal. Of course, this man has to do something pretty special today. Let's make him attacking. Let's get him further forward. Come on. Rears in goal. It's a bit of a gamble. Vargas as well. Could have played him today. Bogdanovic can't believe that Zeno's starting. But I just think that maybe it's a big game. Maybe he's one of these players that needs something like this to, to show just how good he is. You look through this Chelsea side there. Bogdan Popper does start. Jamie Wood as well. Uh, something that we will definitely see. You've got the, I've got an international competition coming up at the end of the season. So Jamie Wood will definitely be a part of that. One of the best strikers in the game. We've seen him loads before. Remember he was having that fantastic season at Forest all those years ago. It's good how in this game save now, Jamie Wood is is sort of I, I don't know how I would describe him in terms of players that actually exist there's not really a Jamie Wood character in real football to be honest but um yeah a, a real superstar of the same it's only 25 again we'll see plenty of him coming up soon as the amount of, the amount of motorbikes around, around here these days so our hopes rest on Brian up front viewers so that's going to be well that's going to be interesting all right then, at Stamford Bridge, we're playing both games today, if you, if you didn't pick that up. We play Chelsea both home and away, and we start away from home. Of course, a goal for us could be huge. And with that in mind, actually, do you know what? I'm going to go for this a little bit more. Very rarely are we that sort of team. We like to see it and sort of pace our way through games and figure out what's what. But today, no. I want an away goal. I want to give us a chance. And Liverpool have already got one away at Leipzig. So they're they're set for this. All right, chance for Chelsea, though. They're on that far side, and a throw-in has been taken. We were quite slow to react, but it's going to come out as it... Oh, the, the challenge flies in. So Greenwood does well to hold on to it, as Wood, with a lovely pass to Dominguez on this right-hand side, takes his time to control the ball and puts a really good delivery in. Really head, a good head away from Polinio, but Chelsea aren't done yet as the shot comes in. Goodness me, what a strike it is. Van der Steenhoven with an incredible goal, and uh, Chelsea will lead 1-0. I've got to say, this is a really, really, really good finish. We should probably close him down slightly better as it drops to him here i say that we are right next to him but no one puts a tackle in and it's a really good finish i want to be more annoyed really viewers but i can't one nil down we've got to score i feel like that's that's the moral of this it doesn't matter how many they get we have to score to give ourselves a chance and if we don't we'll rue that i would imagine as uh, chelsea again looking pretty good they're in jamie wood well he's got a, a very high finishing attribute but he didn't really showcase it there they've got a corner the stanford bridge massive are cheering them on as the play the ball's played in and cleared away i've not i'm gonna i've got to comment over corners because i've been caught out especially yesterday in fact, again i mentioned it all the time but in the context of the glory hunter challenge this valencia season i don't think we've i've got to be honest gang i don't think we're good enough to actually win the europa league but then again we're in it and we've got a chance and our form especially in la liga recently has been really really good it's a good team talk we need to see a little bit more as Zeno's having one of the... He's, he's our best player on the pitch viewers for the first time ever. Emdale's injury is a bit of a concern for me. I might do something a little bit... Not crazy, but I'm going to get a keyser on and I'm going to push him up as a shallow striker right up behind Brian. In fact, I'm going to switch these two boys around and play it like that. Emdale's got through a half. He should be fit enough for the next one. At least he didn't get another injury. As uh, Again, we're just trying to play really for the goal. We'll stay attacking. They've got the goal now anyway. Home goals are not worth as much. So... 
uh, as we calmly keep the ball, we've got to try and make something happen. Across the shouting. Who, who may well shoot from there, boss? Do me the shoot, boss! No, shouting. Just play it across. Nice ball. As uh, Zeno now on his way forward. He's just running to Obiang there, who's not even bothered, is he? As uh, Popper. Goes back, and we're trying to really force Chelsea into a mistake, but they've done really, really well to clear the ball on wide. If they play the ball through here, what a move this could end up being. Bogdan Popper, of course, from Arsenal, running forward, racing forward into the hands of Rios, and uh, remains at 1-0. To demand a little bit more, we need to see a little bit more. We've lost a little bit of natural width, and the ball's played forward. It's a massive clearance. Uh, we're missing Diallo. The pace of Diallo today would be really important. Brian, as he's playing a ball over, the t over across, not so good. Zeno heads on to no one as well. And every time Chelsea have the ball in these areas, I think they're one good three ball away from potentially being on goal. As uh, Popper, though, is, is driving at us. Blimey, he's got so much pace. As uh, Cooper, again, back to the goal scorer. Van der Stehoven goes for it again. And blimey, Rios wasn't sure, was he? It's interesting because we're going to be playing them again immediately after this. So, I mean, this is going to be very fresh in the mind. I just think midfield-wise, we should probably be thinking about changes here. Zeno's having a, a decent game. I don't really want to take him off. It's a lack of options here. El Belsa can maybe come on and maybe go two up top. Again, Omar's not had the, the best game. We'll try this instead. Both of them are playing up there. And then Brakanka might come in as well. A lot of experience on him for Aquino, who's having a really quiet game. Stop the two midfielders round. Half an hour to go. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. We're going to go even more direct. I, I feel like one big ball out towards Zeno might be the trick. And in fact, with that in mind, don't focus play down the left. Focus it down the right. Let's get Zeno on the ball here. The problem we've got, of course, is that we're so far in the game, we've actually created nothing for us. So while I'm trying to be excited about the potential attacks we might have, we've not really done everything, anything at all so far as they're playing with us a little bit. It's a great ball into Espanol. Zito, again, a player we had in season one uh, into Milan. Then he's come back to haunt us all these years on. As he, I don't know how old he is now. He must be one of the older states. But yeah, 29-year-old Italian has been all around the world uh, performing. And now at Chelsea. I say all around the world. I think he went from Inter Milan to Chelsea. So he's been to Italy and England, if you want to say all around the world. As uh, this through ball here, blimey, we step up. Velez, who's normally very, very good, is just caught out by a really good bit of movement. And Chelsea are a level above. Like, if, if you were to put Chelsea in the Liga, they would be, in my opinion, they'd be challenging the, the top three like they would not be in the the Europa League conversation really this is the problem I'm going to have winning the Europa League with teams outside of England because I just don't think they were strong if I'm completely honest as they go close again I, I want to go more attacking I don't, I don't know I don't see us getting a goal viewers that is part of the problem oh hold on just a second here but Aganka's ball in is straight into the arms of a massive Donnarumma We've had one shot away from home we're gonna to have to perform something pretty spectacular in the next one still 10 minutes to go I think it's important not to concede again. I'm going to go to cautious. I just, uh, I want to score, but we're offering very little that if they score again, they've only got to score once away from home and we're in all sorts of bother. Good challenge from Velez as we try and build something from back here as uh, the ball out wide is not particularly good. Again, missing Diallo, not having Emdel for the whole game and it could well be a Chelsea third and our hopes going to this second leg could already be dashed, viewers. Could already be dashed. Where does this leave us at Valencia? That's the question, isn't it? We're out of the cup. We're out of the... I mean, we're not winning a trophy this year. It's a year without a trophy. And how much money am I realistically going to be given to rebuild this squad? Like, I don't... A comment section. I guess we should wait until after the second game and give ourselves a chance to get a fourth here. I mean, are we inviting pressure on now by playing cautiously? Esposito hits the bar. I don't know, gang. I feel like we're... we're <laughs> this is a bit of a crossroads here. Leipzig of, uh, of equalised against Liverpool as there's goals going in everywhere else. It's going to end 3-0, which is a problem, isn't it? It's a problem. <laughs> Schalke winning 7-1. So, I mean, that's good for them. Look through the teams left in this. Leipzig, Liverpool, Milan, Schalke. Like, there's some there's some good teams. You might say we're a little bit unfortunate, actually, to have to play Chelsea this early on. I mean, the draws are coming, th coming through for the next stages. We'll draw all the teams straight away. Uh, the winner of us and Chelsea would play Schalke, strangely enough, as... Uh, well, there's some games going on. I've got to say, I'm looking at the rest of this draw here. This is going to get quite confusing. So if we were to beat Schalke or Chelsea and then Schalke, we would play Villarreal, Malmo, Asalanta, or any of the people Hertha Berlin. And that's kind of what I mean. Those four teams there are all very beatable. And I'd, I'd say Kiev and Avante are, and Cagliari and Ajax maybe as well. And the teams on this side are far stronger. All right, then we play them in six days. So we've got a little bit of time to recover. And we should be at full strength. Diallo's only out for a few days with the virus. So he should be back and ready to go. And that gives us... 
Give us a little bit of a chance. He scored four against Barcelona and he needs to do it against Chelsea. I think Vargas will come back in as well. We like, oh, I was playing to quite, the thing is, we played quite attacking, but at the same time, I wanted to be defensively strong away from home, playing like Sapolino. Didn't work. See you in five days. All right, then we're going to have to make some big calls as the second leg is upon us. Diallo, of course, back in. Omar will be behind him. Bogdanovic is going to come in to replace. So this is a big move to replace Zeno. Endal is back in the side. And we'll play the full game, hopefully. Now he's fully fit and raring to go. Sanchez on the left. Shelton, Velez and Vargas comes back in on the right-hand side. Rios will be in goal once again with Gutierrez and Aquino in the centre. It's a big game. It's a massive game. And we've got to do something. At least give us a chance. Give me a bit of hope, boys. Come on. Because if we've got no hope, then... <sighs> I'm worried for the season. I'm worried for the team. I'm worried for the, the task at hand. And they're playing a defensive 4-3-3. We owe Chelsea after last time. I remember what happened. All right, then. Here we go. We're at home. So, which is, you know, it's it's a it's a benefit to us. We know this. And whether we can do something on the square pitch, we're about to find out. Let's go to two. To, oh, for heaven's sake. Brigan can come in. It's one position, actually, where we're not too bad. But an injury after four minutes isn't ideal. I'm going back to 2D here, viewers. I, I, and this might be brave, considering we play on a square pitch. But... I want to see the square pitch in, in full action. As um, good luck here, Chelsea. You're gonna need it. I like that our dots look so small when it's a, when it's square. It just it just I don't know. It just looks weird, doesn't it? As uh, Aquino's on it, an early goal from Diallo, maybe. Oh, viewers, hello. Seventeen minutes gone. He's back in the team and he's already scored a goal. And all of, well, viewers, could it happen? Could it happen? Aquino with a lovely ball forward to Diallo, whose run is exceptional and the finish is sublime. The keeper can't do anything about that. 1-0, 3-1, but oh. Now I seem to remember a game where a team was 3-0 up. As I said, there's been injuries all over the shop. Chelsea had to take off two players already after 15 minutes and I think there was a collision between Lane and Gutierrez which caused both players to go off. So Chelsea already have had to make two changes and now, I mean, with one left, what are they going to do? At half-time... We're going to lead. Do we go? We have to go for this more, right? Being forced into a few changes. We're going to go attacking. Pashik said we owe them after last time. Come on, we're going to use that again. It started us off really well. Let's do that then. Let's go attacking and let's see. Can we get something from the game? Is there more I can be doing here? Probably not. We've just got to try and up the tempo a little bit and make chances for ourselves as uh, Chelsea, though, in possession. And we know if they score one away goal, we are... We are in trouble as they're in and, well, Rios saves. Okay, I was very worried. Who, who, who thinks this pitch is a good... Who thinks this is a good idea? Who's in charge of this? I mean, it wasn't me because it, it was already square by the time I got here. But we're gonna, I'm going to have to start committing more players forward here, aren't I? We're not having great performances from Omar, but he's coming off, viewers. He's coming off. Brian's coming on. We're going to up top and we're going to try and force them back a little bit more. Come on, we need to see something here. We're already playing quite wide as it is, but we need a second goal. And then all of a sudden... This gets interesting as Emdel knocks it down to Shelton, who gives it back to Emdel, who's got options in front of him, but will run at the defence, as he always seems to do. He's got options on his left-hand side, though, goes across, clear to Bragdanovic. I mean, oh, I'm just making up names now, combining two two different names of two different players. As we're in! Bogd oh, my word. Okay, Bogdanovic has scored. Or, or, I mean, this can happen now. This can happen. Our Europa League hopes rest very much on this game, and... It's, it's, well, it's, it's now or never, isn't it? It's now or never. I tell you what, if we come back from this, viewers, if we, not none of you were expecting us to even be in this position, were you? Let's face it. I wasn't expecting me to be in this position as we'll demand even more. Chelsea, currently a little bit on the ropes, viewers, as um, is the home advantage proving to be so important as it was in the FM Streamer Showdown that this, this past weekend. We'll have to wait and see as the ball out wide is headed straight back and Bogdanovic is on it. And I've got to say, having far more impact than Zeno would as he races at the back line, the star red Things mean nothing, viewers, as that tackle comes in. Vargas, back across. Surely not. Down. Diallo's there. Emdel! Oh, come on! Oh, my word, viewers. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. We've scored, and it's 3-3, and I'm, st I'm not... Oh, watch it. Brian knocks it down. Bogdanovic to Emdel. That's why he's so important. That's why we should see more of him. Good, good, good grief. I mean, it's, it's definitely... That's what they're checking for an offside here. Give me a, do me a favour. Wasting my time. Right. Chelsea has made all three subs. They've got players on bookings, as have we. But we've got a little bit more room to manoeuvre. Zeno will not be coming on, viewers. As, um, I mean, Chelsea now are on the ropes, viewers. They've changed their passing style. We'll demand more. There's a little bit left of normal time as we will go to extra time, I think. Unless there's some very, very, very late drama. As Chelsea players picking up bookings all over the shop. Wow. Wow. I can't actually believe it. Okay, we're back on level terms. As Liverpool knock out Leipzig, Levante beat Kiev. I mean, 
Drama viewers. Any other people heard the Berlin? Look like they're going to go through. Uh, <sighs> tactically, do you change it? Do you, do you bring on fresh legs? I know it seems obvious to do so. But everyone's playing really well. Brian's the only player you'd maybe take off and you've brought him on. Zeno is the is one of the changes. I think we stay as we are, gang. Maybe maybe that's not the, the not the move, but they had to make changes very early, remember, so they can't really change too much anyway. It's not a massive disadvantage for us. And I get look, if I concede, you they've got an injury. They've gone down Are you kidding? Well at least we they're down to ten though. I mean we're not. Akiza's gonna come on. I'm gonna play him up front. I mean, is this a, is this a bold move, Ben, to play him up front? Maybe. I wanna keep this shape though, that's the thing. Goodness me. Goodness me, Diallo injured. They're, they're down to 10 men now, as this is on the edge of a... a oh my word, viewers. You tune in today, don't you? You're thinking, oh, a little bit of a Europa League. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not expecting too much from today's episode. Good God. Especially after the first the first game as well. I bet some of you... Some, okay, well, we've got one more... <laughs> if Polinio comes in for Vargas, at least we can make the changes, right? At least we're unfortunate in that state. Is there going to be some late drama, though? 10 minutes to go. I'll demand even more. If they've got more, I'll demand it from them. As some of our boys end them, especially, man. is so tired. Uh, so are they. And they've had another injury. Right. Holy... There's three minutes to go. Chelsea are down to nine. You're looking at the systems here. That's what Chelsea are playing. And we can't find a way through with three minutes left. Are you kidding? Oh, flipping it. I mean, one minute left. Can I shout anything? I can't even I can't even say anything, can I? There's nothing there's not much more I can do. We'll put we'll try and I mean this might be absolutely meaningless, but we'll try maybe just change the system a little bit. As a very, very oh my god. Two, 122 minutes on the clock. And can we find a late, late goal? Bogdanovic to win it for Valencia. But Brian! It's Brian! It's 4-3! How have we done it? How have we done it? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I can't... This is... Wow. 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 Brian heads in. Wow. Viewers, did you see this coming? Did you see this coming? Oh my God. Brian scores. It's 4-3. And it's over. <laughs> I don't know what's just gone on. Unbelievable. Un <laughs> I think it right. These are one of those episodes. I really want to tell everyone on Twitter and on, on Twitch before I like before today's video what an episode this is. They'll know you'll know that I've gone 3 0 down. At that point, you'll go, he's told us to watch this. He's told us to watch this. And so I can't even say anything. This is just gonna have to go out there and wow. What I can't believe it. I think we'll play Schalke in the next round. They absolutely dominated in their game. Injuries all over the shop. I mean, men have died for this. For, for heaven's sake. Players out for weeks on end. And I don't know if they'll even be back for the next <laughs> the next round of the Europa League. I think we play Schalke. An, an old enemy as well. Who have got their game. Well, they've got their game coming up. Holy smokes, viewers. Goodness me. Yeah, Schalke go through. 8-1 on aggregate. I mean, one of the best teams to face off, uh, I guess. Well, another challenge for us. But for heaven's sake, viewers. So the Schalke games will be next episode. Of course they will. I can't actually... I've just done the big shop, viewers. I've come back to this. I've, what a day. What a day. If you've enjoyed it, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. This is... We'll remember this one. We'll remember this one for a while. See you tomorrow, gang. Five o'clock. Oh, my. Look at it. Carnage. Absolute carnage.